Today's video is about the legend of the Curse of the Colonel. Now, from the name alone, you'd be forgiven for thinking the Curse of the Colonel was some sort of urban legend about a spooky ghost from the American Civil War who still haunts the plains of his death and can only be set free once the site is completely rid of discarded cigarette packets. This is not the case, and in fact, the Colonel the Curse refers to is none other than KFC founder and mascot, Colonel Sanders. Yes, KFC has its own curse. Uh, they don't put it on the menus though, I think you have to specifically ask for it. Fun fact, the official KFC Twitter account only follows 11 people, the five Spice Girls and six men named Herb, a reference to the secret fried chicken recipe of 11 herbs and spices. The first person to notice this was rewarded with a painting of himself receiving a piggyback ride from Colonel Sanders. Now, while I'm sure that this painting almost certainly comes with its own complimentary curse, I mean, fucking look at it. This is not what the story is about. This story is about Japanese baseball. <laughs> so, we have a curse, KFC, and Asian people hitting things with a stick. How does it all come together? The Hanshin Tigers are a baseball team located in Koshien, Nishinomiya, there better not be any more of these fucking names in the story. Founded in 1936, the Tigers are the eternal underdogs. Every now and then they come in second in championships, but very rarely first. Because of their underdog status, the fans have a very fervent devotion to their team. It doesn't matter how poorly the Hanshin Tigers are performing, the fans will show up, and they did quite often perform poorly. Their look would take a turn, however, with the signing of American Randy Bass in the early 80s. Bass was a monster batter. He hit 35 home runs in his first season in 1983 and quickly became the Tigers' star slugger. He's credited with single-handedly turning things around for the Hanshin Tigers. They love this guy over there. He's a celebrity. He's a cultural ambassador. Okay, Randy Bass, years later, would serve as a state senator up until only recently. And he's said when he's back in Oklahoma, when people see him, you know, a senator, they're like, oh, hey, Randy. But when he's in Japan, they're like, oh, Basu san. <clears throat> um, sorry. In 1985, largely thanks to Randy Bass, the Hanshin Tigers took their first and only victory in the Japan Championship Series. And the fans, already rabid supporters, lost their minds. Celebrations in the streets gathered at nearby Ibisu Bridge where fans were calling out the names of every player on the team. With every name the crowd would elect a fan who resembled that player and they would jump off the bridge into the canal below. They eventually came to the beloved Randy Bass. Being a bearded white man Randy didn't have any lookalikes in the crowd so that would mean the celebrations would sadly have to come to an end. Unless... Outside a nearby KFC stood a plastic statue of Colonel Sanders who the crowd decided looked enough like Randy to be his stand-in. Fucking racists. They picked up the statue and carried it to the bridge and then fucked it into the canal. <laughs> Brilliant. This would have unintended consequences however. It's a well-known fact that in life Colonel Sanders hated canals. Indeed, the last two letters of KFC actually stand for fuck canals. His spirit was so angered by the event that he invoked the power of all 11 herbs and spices to place a powerful curse on the Hanshin Tigers and their fans forevermore. The curse manifested itself as a losing streak for the Hanshin Tigers who placed at the bottom of the leagues for the next 18 years. During this time the fans were distraught. Realising their folly they tried to redeem themselves and break the curse of the colonel. They apologised to the manager of the KFC store, they made offerings to other statues of the colonel, there was even multiple attempts to recover the statue from the canal by divers and there was even dredgings. The team even lost Randy Bass as in 1988 his son was diagnosed with brain cancer. Upon returning to the states Randy was fired by the Hanshin Tigers who said he was not authorised to leave Japan. Randy was able to produce a tape recording which proved the Tigers had in fact allowed him to return to see his son. The general manager of the Hanshin Tigers was so disgraced by the debacle he committed suicide. Fucking hell. 
It seemed as though all hope was lost, until in 2003, the Tigers started to perform in the leagues. For the first time in 18 years, they qualified for the Japan Series. Nearly two decades after first throwing the Colonel into the canal, they had a chance to win the championship again. The rabid Tigers fans were hyped, they were going mad after every win, they were jumping in the canal again. KFC stores all over the region brought their statues indoors, you know, just in case. After one victory, there were over 5,000 revelers in the canal. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> this would lead to a 24-year-old fan drowning. The Tigers would go on to lose the 2003 series, and the Abisu Bridge was reconstructed to make it harder for fans to jump into the canal. Only on March the 10th, 2009, did divers finally recover the upper body of the long-lost colonel. The next day, his legs and right hand were also found, which still leaves his left hand and glasses missing. Because his original KFC was closed down, the statue was relocated to a KFC branch near Koshien Stadium with replacement hand and glasses. However, the curse still remains in place. The Hanshin Tigers have still never reclaimed victory in the Japan Championship Series. Perhaps the Colonel's ghost is unforgiving. Maybe the curse can only be broken when his original left hand and glasses are restored. Maybe he needs to return to the site of his original home. Or maybe something else is preventing the Hanshin Tigers from winning. Maybe they're just shit. <laughs>